Security and authentication, as we've discussed before, extremely important component of any system. So our next speaker is going to talk about how he implemented two-factor authentication with Zabbix. Let's welcome Evgeny Yurchenko, co-founder at BGMOT. Welcome. Hi there, I'm Evgeny Yurchenko from BGMOT. BGMOT uh, is a fairly new company. We are based in Ontario, Canada. We provide different IT services to our clients, focusing on monitoring and automation. We love open source and uh, Zabbix being open source uh, is our favorite monitoring solution. Enough about BG Remote, let's talk about why we are here today, what I am presenting here. I'm going to talk about two-factor authentication. So what is two-factor authentication? Uh, I'll probably skip this slide. If you are listening to me right now, you already know what two-factor authentication is. Uh, why 2FA for Zabbix? Good question, because it's not available out of the box. First of all, increased security. No comments here. Then complying with corporate policies. Uh, actually, a li little history here. We deployed Zybex for one of our clients in dev environment. They were happy, they were using it. They decided to promote Zybex to production. But security guys said, no, 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 you have to have two-factor authentication to be able to use Zybex in production. Everybody was kind of, what? But okay, you need to have two-factor authentication for Zabbix. So I said, okay, wait guys, we'll think about it and come up with some solution. So the solution here is two-factor authentication for Zabbix. I implemented this in two ways. Uh, a little bit later about that. Here, one more point is if you are going to expose Zabbix to internet, Two-factor authentication is a must. Again, no comments here, everybody understands that. So, how does it work for Zadix? Uh, there are two ways to, uh, to, to FA for, uh, to Zadix. Using Google Authenticator is a very simplistic way and Duo to FA provider. Uh, actually, first I implemented Duo. It's much more complicated, but this is what client wanted. And they said not only you have to have two-factor authentication, they, have, they said you have to have two-factor authentication with Duo. Duo is very popular in North America provider of uh, security services. So I implemented Duo and then uh, people start coming to me and say, hey, what about Google Authenticator? It's very simple, everybody can install this application on your phone or whatever device you're using and use it. I said, okay, let's try. And as a result, there is another option, Google Authenticator application. Regardless of what you choose, what you select to use, uh, the principle is the same, the workflow is the same. First, you are authorized against a method configured for Zabbix, internal, old up, etc. And then, uh, when you are authenticated using this method, authenticated using this method, uh, 2FA kicks in. So, how do you use it? Let's take a look at screenshots. First of all, you have to enable two-factor authentication in Zabbix user interface. You go to Administration, 2FA, and select Google Authenticator. Click Update. At this moment, 2FA is on. So, you log out, try to log in for the first time, and you are presented with a very nice screen. So, uh, now you have to scan this QR code with your Google Authenticator application. Uh, by your Google Authentic uh, Authenticator application, I mean the application installed on your personal device. So you scan it and it's kind of uh, attached to your account. So now admin account will be kind of assigned to your device, only to your device. This is the point of default authentication. So, uh, it'll look like this on Apple device. You see Zabbix Docker admin. Zabbix Docker is just name of my Zabbix instance. You'll have your Zabbix instance name here. And admin is login, username. And this code, six digits, they are um, changed every uh, six 
oh, sorry, every 30 seconds uh, by this application. Uh, this is kind of uh, how any uh, Authenticator app works, so Google Authenticator is no exception here. Now, uh, you work, you log out, you log in again. You don't have to enroll your device again, because Zabbix remembers you already enrolled, and admin user is already enrolled in 2FA. So, uh, it will accept 2FA code only for device that was previously enrolled in this, for this account. So, you don't see any QR codes right now. You just enter six digits from your Google Authenticator app. And you, if you enter them correctly, you are logged in. So, uh, that's basically all very simple, as I said before, for Google Authenticator. Uh, a couple of words about Duo. Again, this is a huge company. Uh, very popular in North America and provides a variety of security services. One of them is two-factor authentication. Uh, it provides many more features than Google Authenticator app. Uh, it, you have separate login to Duo site. You can manage users, you can block users, you can see activity of different users. Um, which is important if you want to play with Duo, uh, you can sign up up to 10 users for free. Basically, not sign up. There is uh, the same process of enrollment. When you are logging for the first time, Duo doesn't know about this user. It says, okay, let's create uh, attachment, like uh, let's link your account to account uh, in Zabbix. And you go through the same process without scanning. They send you push, uh, push code, they send you uh, SMS message, they can call you, well, it's paid service, they can do whatever they want. Uh, yeah, if you want to read about this more, uh, there is a link here on the screen. And, um, yeah, uh, there are a couple of demos on my site. Uh, links are here. Source code available. Uh, everything is open source, which you love. And uh, there is perfect opportunity to play with. You don't have to install anything. Just deploy a Docker container using this image. This image has all the code presented here. And uh, database, well, this is fully deployed Zabbix server. So you can log in, you can try to authenticate. And when you are done, basically destroy container, you are done. Uh, I guess that's it for the day. Thanks you thank thank you for listening and uh, Zadix works. Bye. Thank you, Yevgeny. Authentication and more complex authentication scenarios are always useful to hear about and learn about for our community members and ourselves. If you have any questions about this scenario or maybe authentication with Zabbix in general, feel free to use the chat and either Yevgeny or one of the Zabbix team members is going to answer those questions and chat with you about any other comments that you may have about authentication. Thank you.